box as you Hi guys and welcome to another PKerry12 Productions or better known as PKTV. So we're going to unbox one of the storage units for the Mac Pro 2013 model just slash early 2014 model. So this storage is definitely worth the wait for. It's the Pegasus 2. So the Promise from Promise. It's the R4 model Thunderbolt 2. This is the diskless model because I bought my own storage. I will get into more of that later down in the video. But other than that, let's take it out of the box. Here we go. The Pegasus 2 R4 Thunderbolt 2 storage. So this has RAID uh, this has RAID capabilities. It is the it's a hardware based RAID, so basically it saves in storage on the RAID controller in the actual unit itself. So you could take it to any Thunderbolt device and actually have keep that same RAID array. So basically it's four bays and basically we get um, no discs in it because I've as I said I've putting in my own discs. Uh, so we've got four SATA 3 hard drive bays. Uh, we've got the ability to do RAID 0, 1, 1, E, 5, 6, and 10, and two Thunderbolt 2 uh, at 20 gigabits per second. So we've got the second there, and we've got the here the explain of the product description of Promise. So let's take a look in the box and see what we got. Right. Let's open her up. All right. First, we're greeted with a accessory box, as you can see right here. So let's see what's in the accessory box. So we've got obviously a Thunderbolt 2 cable. Awesome. It comes with it. It's a very short one, but it's definitely awesome they have that with it. Uh, we've got some documentation here in different languages, as you can see right here. It's just a quick guide on exactly what you can do with this thing and where to put the hard drives, etc, etc, etc. And there's a lot of languages here, so let's take that out. We've got also the guarantee. Obviously, EMC owns this sort of stuff, so basically that's where Promise comes from. And let's take a look at the large amount of screws I have for the hard drives, obviously. And we have our Australian plugs, as you can see right there. Because this is the Australian version. Which the only difference between Australian version and any other version around the world is the plug, basically. <laughs> right, let's grab this unit out. Now, obviously, at first... Um, when I got this out, I thought, holy crap, this is light. And I just realized when I took it out, it's actually because I haven't got any hard drives in it yet because the discless model. So we're just going to grab this particular unit out somehow. If I can get her out. Uh, I might get the cipher info off first. And now I'll try to get it out. Yep, here we go. Alright, awesome. Right, so there it is. I might get the styrofoam off in a sec, but see what else is in the box right now. Nothing, so let's grab this out, and here we go. Right, here it is, the Pegasus 2 in black R4 to match the... Uh, black Mac Pro, obviously. At the back here, we've got the two Thunderbolt 2 cables, we've got the fans, we've got the power. Uh, let's take a closer look at this, actually. Alright, so the front here, we're going to take a look. 
And yes, there are the four bays, as you can see right there. You've got the power on the left hand corner there. The Promise Technology core, uh, logo, as you can see right there. And we've got the Pegasus 2 in the corner there. So let's take. So basically, all you have to do to get the drive bays out is to push. Uh, so they're the hard drives that I'm actually going to put in a few of the um, Toshiba ones, two terabyte hard drives, as well as a four terabyte Seagate one. But to get your drives in, you pretty much just pull back and pull the drives out. These are hot swappable trays, so basically we screw in our hard drives and we put them straight back in and press down, and it will snap into place. As you can see right there really really easy and very good to use so we'll take a look at the speed test and this is the promise too so this is Pegasus 2R4 display basically this is what it looks like when you have the promise software installed only for Mac only so let's take a look so what the setup I have here, I have 10 terabytes of storage in here in the Pegasus 2 R4 Thunderbolt 2 storage solution. So what I need to do uh, for my particular array is that I've actually set up one 4 terabyte RAID array in RAID 0 uh, with 128 kilobyte stripe, uh, no cache and no write through. So basically that's going to be my scratch, di scratch disk for... Uh, Mac OS as you can see right there um, now as you can see with what I have in here I've got three two terabyte drives um, and one four terabyte drive in slot four now the four terabyte drive on the bottom there is actually four uh, it's not in a RAID array it's not in, it's just a single drive just for backups for that RAID 0 array so you can see the thinking here, you've got a two a got a four terabyte RAID zero array and a four terabyte drive to back that up. Alright, so there's one there's one drive unaccounted for, and that is this one here. So that two terabyte drive right there is actually specifically just for boot camp. Uh, it's not actually for the boot camp OS, so it's not for Windows 8.1, it's actually for all the data, for the, all the game data and all that sort of stuff that I've put in there, and I've called it simply Win Data. Literally has all the Steam, Origin, everything like that, all on there for that 2 terabyte drive. Uh, but other than that, let's take a look at the speeds that we have for this particular thing. So, as a bench, I will show you exactly how fast the Mac OS, uh, sorry, the PCIe 512 gigabytes um, internal storage actually goes at. So we'll just run that right now. As you can see, we're getting 840 write speed and 840 read speed. Now we're going up to 959 right so we're getting almost a gigabyte and I do mean the gigabyte of actual speeds so that's brilliant all right so now I'm going to show you the speed of the RAID array that I have so we're going to go into the promise RAID and I'm going to run a speed test on that one all right, this is going through Thunderbolt 2 uh, RAID 0 of 2 SATA 3 hard drives. As you can see, it's maxing out, almost getting there at 300 megabytes a second. Uh, which is moderatively good, but um, it's not the full benefit of the doubt for Thunderbolt 2. Because uh, basically, yeah, it's limited by SATA 3. Obviously, I put a few SSDs in there. I'm probably going to get a massive increase in performance, but... That being said, I only have two of the drives in a RAID 0 array. If I had all four drives in a RAID 0 array, I would see about five to 600 megabytes per second transfer speeds, which would be even better. But yes, I'm not using it to the full benefit, but as you can see, it's running very well. So I will show you also 
um, what say the single four terabyte drive which is not even in RAID uh, the backup drive and show you the speed of that four terabyte drive you can see it's maxing out at the start of three speeds as the fact that it's you know a hard drive um, obviously SATA 3 goes much higher than this but it's limited by the hard drive so that is basically all the speeds you're getting at as, as, as a non RAID hard drive so yeah that's pretty much the speed tests it's approximately I will say is very very good so I'm getting probably a lot better than I would have got uh, when I had um, my old 8 core Mac Pro Thunderbolt 2 definitely gives you the benefit of debt of the doubt. So if you want to put SATA 3 discs in, you're going to get the full speed of them. Um, I'll be interested to know in the future if I ever put in SSDs. Uh, we'll see then how fast Thunderbolt 2 can handle that. And that'll be brilliant. So yeah, that is the Pegasus 2 from Promise R4. Thunderbolt 2 storage device. Cheers.